we might all have to actually give up our mindless scrolling time on TikTok as uh, apparently it is getting banned yet again, and this time for real. I don't know. I, I doubt that we're actually going to see anything happen. It seems like this is some sort of ritual that goes on every so often, every few months, that TikTok, the headline, TikTok's going to get banned. The U.S. wants to ban TikTok. Uh, I feel like that is something that's talked about every single few months and nothing ever happens it like sparks something then goes away and disappears and then comes around and again for a few months so probably going to be the same story here i i don't see them like just straight up banning stuff because if they would have done it they would have done it the last 15 times they said they were going to do it but apparently that is where we're at seeing uh the house here voted wednesday on a bill giving bite dance six months to divest TikTok or face a ban in the US. And I do feel like this is still something that we've already seen happen. This is, I feel like this is a repeat of, of another headline of things where TikTok was said, you got to divest or you're going to get banned. And I think they did something with Oracle and that made people happy. But now we're saying it even further. And it seems like this is probably going to be the route that is might be forced down for TikTok and ByteDance to divest the U.S. portion to like a U.S. company. Maybe that's what happens because losing the U.S. market and stuff. Will they actually ban it? Who knows, right? Uh, with this whole stuff, this bill, everything going out, TikTok did end up sending out like a, a message on TikTok and forcing people or wanting people to get in contact with their reps and call them and say, you can't ban TikTok. It's the greatest thing in the world. And they actually did get a lot of that. And I think it was a lot of kids called in and it, they had to like shut down the phone lines or something because there's so much stuff. So apparently people are loving TikTok and uh, not happy about this ban here. But uh, we have a couple of things obviously going on. Another ban. What is in the bill though? Because that is a big thing that happened. Uh, a lot of people are talking about. You can see this uh, one of the quotes here from some of the backers said that it is a grave threat TikTok to the U.S. national security. Always saying that when they don't like things, uh, due to its Chinese ownership, and they warned that TikTok could be used to influence the U.S. public opinion or harness user data to spy on Americans. And uh, I mean, we know this already happens, right? All of these, every social media map uh, app in the world spies on you. They all come out and they all track everything you're doing. That is why China bans basically any U.S. company from being in China and like creates their own version of stuff because they know that they don't want people tracking their Chinese data and stuff. So uh, it's not a secret. It's just that the U.S. has had all of the big tech companies through the U.S. Now there's one out of China and it's a problem now. So obviously that's where it comes up and uh, them wanting to ban it and get rid of their foreign control. That is the biggest thing here. Seeing uh, even this here saying they have pushback need they want to ban tiktok saying their objective is to get rid of foreign control so apparently they don't want to ban it uh but they want to get rid of the foreign control they don't want china to control tiktok and to have the data so that's the biggest thing right um so will like at the end of the day will tiktok actually get banned i just i super doubt it i don't think we're gonna see a tiktok ban i think that it'd be pretty unpopular to begin with and like if you want to use tiktok like go ahead and use tiktok uh it's it, you just do whatever you want right if you don't want to use tiktok don't use it if you're worried about the any malware or spyware from tiktok and china and stuff like don't put the app on your phone right if you're in government you probably shouldn't have any government phone anything with like government information going through a phone that has tiktok on it or anything or youtube twitter any social media app you shouldn't have anything on there if it has sensitive information on it but that is the big uh, big thing that they're going to push for right the divestment so they want to sell to a u.s company they want the u.s portion of tiktok to be owned by a u.s company apparently they have qualified divest uh, divestors so like companies that they say like you know the uh will be allowed to do this and they will say this company can do it or this company can't don't know what that list is uh but obviously the big thing is just a u.s company so they don't want foreign control they don't want they they want these scary words to throw out there right national security threat the foreign controls all this stuff even though you know if, i mean the u.s has had the dominant tech platforms across the world for years now and they've been doing the same thing like this isn't something that Oh, it's, it's because China's got it. China's doing it. Like, all these apps do this stuff, right? It's just a problem now because they don't. we don't control it. But 
uh, like I said, at the end of the day, like if you want TikTok, use it. If you don't, don't use it. It's not that big of a deal. This is the thing that TikTok did saying they uh, sent uh, the congressional offices were flooded with calls Thursday after the company sent pop-up messages urging people to speak up against a bill saying uh, this is the bill, right? This was TikTok. Push their thing out there saying, hey, you got to contact your local representative. They're trying to ban TikTok. You don't want to lose TikTok, do you? And it actually worked. A lot of people, a lot of people reached out. Uh, but there is a bigger problem with TikTok too right now where you see this overall thing. The main thing, like it's a platform, people post stuff, get views. Oh my God, it's so cool. Uh, and it would be easier to ban had they done it before it became something more than that, where the platform of TikTok is now something where businesses go and advertise. There's business campaigns and business pages up there. and All this stuff is kind of integrated into there where it's a lot harder to, to ban that now, right? It's a lot harder to get rid of it because companies are using this. They are using it to advertise. They're using it to engage with customers and engage in markets and communities and try and grow their company and products. So now... With all this integration, it just seems like it's not feasible to try and ban this thing. Maybe they can force it to be divested into a U.S. company. That's the route they're wanting to go down. But it's uh, it's too integrated, right? It's no longer just people posting dances on TikTok. Like, that's not what's going on. Obviously, the app still has a lot of that. But there are companies. There's businesses built on it. Like, things have, have gone forward so much where... You can't reverse it. You can't go back and say, we're done. Like, we're canceling the whole thing. It's all banned. You're going to have a lot of impact on a lot of companies if that actually happened. And some of the crazier part, too, is some of the people who are who, who are for this and against this. Like, uh, we've got, you know, obviously Biden and Trump. I think Biden ha supports this, this bill. Trump was, like, a little bit more against it. So it's weird. Like, I feel like those have kind of flopped. Like, when Trump was president, it was – he. I think he had something for banning TikTok. Even if he didn't, when the first time it came around for banning TikTok, pretty sure he was in favor of that. And now we've kind of flipped, and it's like, oh, well, now now Biden wants to ban, ban TikTok and Trump doesn't. So we've, we've seen a flip-flop here for some reason. Uh, obviously, they have something from Trump saying here uh, that if TikTok got banned, basically that – it would it would be an increase for Facebook or Meta, and uh, he said <laughs> they're an enemy of the people. So I guess like obviously Facebook has a pretty bad reputation. Uh, their algorithms are probably the most manipulative and the most egregious at what they try and do. But all social media platforms do this. All of them have an algorithm because they all want you to spend more time on the app, more time on the site because that makes them more money. They can show you more ads. So. Uh, you know to like just say facebook's the bad one or tiktok's the bad one like they all do it maybe some are worse than others maybe facebook's algorithms worse than all the rest and tiktok has the worst because of their backing but like at the end of the day they're all very similar they're all doing pretty much the same stuff and uh for this tiktok ban it's just integrated now like if you were trying to ban youtube you'd have a ton of companies losing their mind because of the advertising done on youtube even facebook you're trying to ban facebook the advertising there is insane so the tiktok's in the same kind of boat they've grown to a massive platform for advertisers and companies to go on there so banning them it just doesn't seem like a feasible thing but honestly would we be a better place or a better world without tiktok probably right the attention our attention spans have been drained down to nothingness because of the scrolling from tiktok and shorts and uh now it's it's everywhere and everyone's pushing shorts and reels tiktoks all this stuff like would it be better if we, <laughs> we just never had tiktok maybe but we just can't go back in time and i don't see a ban happening maybe the divestment happens that's what they're going for and i mean maybe like bite dance gets forced to do that who knows but at that point this is the only thing that could happen that's gonna do it for this video as always do to smash up and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next